Hey yo guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Shaitan here from Design Palette and I am back again today with another cool video. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can add links or hyperlinks as you call it technically to your description of your Dribbble posts. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because Dribbble doesn't actually have an option to add links or hyperlinks to the text in the description of your post. That's something you have to add manually using a bit of code. But let me tell you, you don't have to know a single line of code for this. I'm going to give you the entire solution and actually not many people know about this. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is my Dribbble profile and uh, if you guys don't follow me, I highly recommend that you do because I'm going to be uploading daily and uh, it's going to have a lot of diversity of content, a lot of amazing stuff, pretty active on Dribbble as well and I really appreciate a follow and if you guys feel like following, please do. Now before we deep dive right in, I want to mention that I actually have two Dribbble invitations to give away. Uh, all you have to do is send me a portfolio to uh, this email ID. I will put a link in the description for that. All you have to do is just simply put an email ID and please send me your portfolio and don't send me individual pictures. I will be announcing the winners on July 1st. Of course, if you're watching this video after July 1st, it's of no use. Make sure you send in my portfolios and I will let you guys know once the winner has been selected. Now that being said, let's actually get into the proper tutorial. All right, so let me give you an example. So for example, if I go to, uh, let's check out my latest post. Uh, you can see here, it says, check out my logo folio on Behance and these are my social media handles. Now, if I click on this, that's gonna take me to my Behance profile. Let's do quickly do that. So as you can see, it takes me to my Behance profile and uh, you know, the viewers can see more about it. And if they wanna follow me on social media, they can do that. So let's figure out how to do this. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on edit. Uh, and show you the single line of code. All the code will be posted in the description. So all you have to do is just copy it and paste it. Pretty simple. So let me just expand this over here. All right. Okay. So this is the code. All right. So to be honest, I don't know the technical terms for this code. I just know that this is the code. So basically you have an href code over here. Please correct me if my terminology is wrong. But uh, anyways, um, we have the actual URL over here. Okay, so this is my URL, which is uh, the Behance one. And then we have this line of code, which I have no idea what is for. And then we have the, the actual text that's gonna act as the hyperlink. So check out my logo folio on Behance is actually the text. So that's pretty much it. Now, if I wanna show you how it works for the social media, it's pretty simple again. So we have the href uh, code, I guess. And then we have my uh, Instagram URL. And then we have this rel no follow thing. No idea what it's, no idea what it is again. And then we have the actual text, which is Instagram that is going to be highlighted. And uh, this is uh, the key. I forgot what it's called, but this is kind of that tall key, uh, which, which acts as a divider for each of uh, my social media links. So if I go back to cancel, uh, you can see that kind of that, that line dividing uh, my different social medias. So all you have to do is copy the code from the description, paste it onto your dribble post, change the links and you're good to go. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you have any questions or requests, let me know in the comment sections down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then take care and bye bye.